What's going on YouTube? Mr. Wheels here once again, welcoming you to another edition of Sports Talk. This is a preview of the Canada versus Sweden game. Going to happen in about an hour and a half from now at the World Juniors. I decided to do a, a preview of this game rather than a post-game video because tonight is New Year's Eve and I didn't think I would have time before leaving for the night. So, um, basically... I'm just going to kind of break down what I what I think we can expect from these two teams and how the tournament has gone um, for each team. Let's start with Sweden. Uh, very simply, Sweden hasn't lost uh, in this tournament so far. They are arguably the best team in Group A next to the Americans who, gave, who have been the uh, Sweden's toughest test so far. Uh, but Sweden was able to Basically, Stonewall, uh, the USA, um, a very high-powered USA team. Who uh, the USA has, has embarrassed teams. They beat uh, Switzerland 10-1, I believe it was yesterday. So Sweden held them the, the two goals. Um, that tells me that Sweden does very solid goaltending, and they are for real. Um, flipping over to the other side, uh, Canada has kind of had an opposite tournament. In, um, compared to Sweden, uh, they've had shaky goaltending. Uh, you know, the, the Canadian players that have been expected to step up and score haven't done so. There's a lot of players um, who have yet to register a point. Uh, they've fallen behind the teams that we expected them to beat easily. Uh, the one thing I will say about the Canadians and maybe the silver lining is that, you know, the Canadians have done a good job of of rallying from um, one and two goal deficits and and coming back and showing some poise and and, and some uh, clutch um, play later in the game. Uh, another silver lining to this is that this game, even though it's between two of the better teams in the tournament, really doesn't mean anything. Canada will most likely finish third. Uh, they can finish no better than Second, if Sweden wins the game against Canada, they will mo they will finish first because they would be unbeaten. Uh, the USA will play Denmark um, later today, and if they win, I mean, they, if the US wins, which we can expect them to, uh, they've still got that one loss versus Sweden, so you can expect them to finish second. Now. I want to talk a little bit about what each team will have to do um, to win. And for Sweden, it's, they just got to do more of, of what they've been doing. They haven't had trouble scoring. Uh, they've had solid goaltending. And they, you know, Swedish hockey is, um, one of the main things about Swedish hockey is to control the play, uh, puck possession, you know, Cycle the puck, all that sort of thing. Um, for Canada, I mean, they really need to pull up their socks. Uh, they, they're, they're good players, need to score. I mean, the only player that's really played up to expectations has been Dylan Strom. Guys like Mitch Murder, Jake Vertanen, Lawson Krauss, uh, Hay uh, Hayden Fleury, Braden Point, all of those guys need to step it up and, and get on the score sheet. And... Their goal, Canadian goaltending, Mackenzie Blackwood, has to prove that he is um, the right pick for a number one goaltender because um, the matchups don't get any easier um, from the from this point on. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, what you can expect from me is if Canada loses this game in dramatic faster if something happens I might do a post game uh, review of this game otherwise I will quickly recap it in the um, in my quarter final uh, vi preview video that you can expect within in the next couple days um, so my social media links will be in the description down below to Facebook and Twitter um, Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, be sure to give this video a like if you're watching it on YouTube. Um, so, I will 
that's all I have for you now, and I'll see you next time.